The Square Ball Podcast. Welcome to the show. It's brought to you with Levi Solicitors. We're doing a 10% discount on your legal fees at levisolicitors.co.uk forward slash the square ball. 15% on wills, uh, conveyancing and probate. Nearly couldn't remember them myself there, Michael, but you know them, don't you? I knew them. Um, what, what's the good thing about wills at the minute? And what else can you find on the website? It's a website you can find a... Uh, uh, load of good legal information. And, and the booking system. And the booking the system. The online booking which system. Which you then can use to do online video calls and stuff. Yeah, so you've got loads of Levi's offices, details on the website. But you don't even have to leave your house to do the wills these days. You can do most of them. can be done over the phone, video call. That's good, isn't it? It is good. Uh, check all that out at levisolicitors.co.uk forward slash the square ball. Dan Michael and Moscow here. Heroes and villains, part three. Shall we uh, chuck some shade? Then first of all, with the Ken Bates um, Villain of the Week Award. Uh, I'll give you a potted list of the candidates that we've got. We can pull on a few threads, see what comes out, you know. Um, in the Leeds corner, Jesse Marsh gets uh, a little bit of flack. People not necessarily buying it at the minute. Um, <laughs> not necessarily buying it is is not um, is not the way some people have phrased it. Sean Kay says, uh, in the words of Gandhi, admittedly paraphrased, fuck off, Jesse. <laughs> Seems harsh, but it's very direct. Uh, Urente, who's Joel Bagan? Bagan. Uh, he's the, uh, he's oh, the, the kid on the line. He's Cardiff's goalkeeper. Yeah, the handball um, man. Aronson getting a bit of flack for his lack of form at the minute. Uh, Rasmus Carthorse, um, Emil Heskey and... Karen Bardsley. They did uh, the draw. Nobody prepared to properly um, criticise Stroke. Uh, stroke? Strike? As you mentioned in part two, Phil. Uh, Phil? Michael, I've lost my mind. What's going on? Not all bald men are the, are the same. Where, where, where am I? Where's my glasses? I can't find my keys. Well, Dan, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Uh, do too many of these. Right. Um, Strauch didn't want to get criticised by anybody. Yeah, to, in the... In the to avoid nominating Strauch, um, Sarah nominated the defence because she she acknowledges she can't nominate the big sexy pirate, um, and then Furpo gets nominated by Dick Van Thanks Click um, for forcing Pascal central and making him play like me. <laughs> Strauch Barber gets a nomination uh, because obviously the Samson thing losing the powers, yeah. and then Marsh gets nominations for giving him the captaincy, which I guess uh, confused him a bit. Yeah. And Matt from Holbeck says, Jesse, for not lubing up Pascal before ploughing him back into central defence. If you're going to play him there, don't also start Lorente there like an absolute degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everyone's fault but but Strauch's. I'm, I'm down with that. And obviously Rasmus Kartos um, got one just to complete the, uh, the other defenders being nominated. The full suite, yes. Uh, and it was Emil Heskey and Karen Bardsley did the, the draw for the fourth round. Yes. It? We sat there watching that and was like, when are we going to come out? When are we going to come out? When, and it was, we were the last ball out, weren't we? Mm. And it was Emil Heskey's something, some kind of relative who missed a good chance as well. Nephew. Yeah, Matty Joseph. Is it his nephew? I think it's his nephew. Uh, is it like, cousin? Like third cousin or something. Yeah. Cousin might some, be safer ground. There's some link, isn't there, anyway, between Rel Heskey and... Relation. Let's Fam just go with that. Family member. Yeah, they are They are family. Um, a sister sledge. Yeah, and... Um, so. Borenwood or Ackington. Um It would have been alright if we'd have had that one at home, wouldn't it? Is Arsenal there... fans are convinced that the uh, entire draw was fixed. Right. It's, I've seen some um, uh, very detailed slow mos of the draw, the footage from the draw, um, claiming that uh, both Emil and Karen were looking at the balls before they were drawing them out. Yeah. Which proves that it was. Uh, is, some, all fixed. is somebody not? kind of a bit i don't know making that up because you can't see the balls because there's a there's a hole in the table and it's well this is it they'd gone through all the camera angles and like put it all back together so you could see that they they were looking into Do you the... not use the classic hot balls technique <laughs> where you heat up heat up your balls and then mm. you can mm. feel the warm ones who does arsenal get man city it? yeah Was exactly. man city? so they're right. saying it's all fixed to get them knocked out by manchester city but aren't they better than man city just knock them out now so you don't have to play them later. Because yeah. you, you will have to play them at some point. The thing is, they... Arsenal have got a chance of winning that. Yeah, but it's... Um... Have we? No. <laughs> Sorry. Are winning the FA Cup? Yeah. Yes, we do. All right. Why? Because we're playing Boreham, I mean, yeah. playing Cardiff. We should beat Cardiff. Yeah, it's true. I, I was... And we should beat either Boreham Wood or Atkins and Stanley. I know there's a whole um, typical Leeds stuff and we do all the jokes and it wouldn't be surprising if we lost to Boreham Wood. Wouldn't be surprising if we lost to Cardiff. But we should win those games. We should be in the fifth round. And mm. if we're not, um, 
I suggest we go down to Welland Road, we find everybody responsible and start throwing soft fruit at them. Okay, fair enough. When when did we last get to the fifth round? I'm just going to have to look this up. Because... Wolves, is it? <laughs> we'll My God. in the quarterfinal in 1997, eight, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, 97, 98 was the season, and that was the sixth round, wasn't it? Quarterfinal. Oh, we, we got to the fifth round in 15, 16 against Watford, actually. 15, 16, the year. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that year. was a great. Now, in, in the Middle Ages. <laughs> what a great game that was. Now, do you remember why we didn't win that game? Was, it, was that the Wotton Own goal? The Wotton Own goal. And do you remember? But actually, that was not the, the major problem. Was it Belushi? No. Nope. <laughs> he, he was around then. He no. got sent off at Watford another time, didn't he? It was a bigger bigger problem than that in Steve Evans' view, which is a big clue. And I took it uh, badly, which is another clue. Was it Matt Smith? <laughs> no, nope. close. Uh, You're on the right lines. So he brought on... Oh, Jordan Bataka. He brought on Jordan Bataka with two minutes of stoppage time left and then did an entire um, post-match press conference about how everything was Jordan Bataka's fault. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which he, it ended up with um, Bataka going into his office and basically saying, do you want to say that to my face? <laughs> and uh, Or as he described it, no, we, discuss, we discussed it like men. And, uh, and then um, Bataka doing interviews saying like, yeah, I've accepted his apology and it's forgotten about. Um, I'd love to think Jordan Bataka just headbutted him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your villain of the week? Well, we've not covered them all off, yeah. We are, Anson. Do we have to? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we've we've yeah, we've, we've probably criticised him enough. Oh, and people <laughs> know. After on Aronson, Lee Lee Cheese describes Aronson as the dainty little star spangled mollusk. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. I think it's all just got a bit too much for Aronson, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I guess the I can't cope, man. Yeah, getting up to speed in the Premier League is very different from. Um, Salzburg and then the World Cup is a whole completely different thing as well and we know all the stuff going on behind the scenes with the US squad he's probably now trying to work out if like Gio Reyna's mum is also his mum at some point like the whole thing's just an absolute uh, mess so is he excused? Uh, yeah well all, he's, he's not a villain is he? he's, he's a young man trying to find his way in a new country yeah, a fine he, young man he just yeah, needs um, probably it's why not to dwell on letting click go, but watching the last 20 minutes of the West Ham game, I was thinking to myself, this is the solution. Aronson can go on the bench for a while and we can make click happy by putting him in the team and we'll do that for a few weeks and then Aronson will get his mojo back and click will get some games and we'll, the team we should still be good. And then full-time whistle blows and they start putting a big tribute video on the screen, I was like, well, that's that was a good plan. Never mind. I, I want to say Joel Bagan. Bagan? Bagan. Bagan. Furpo deserved that goal, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's denied yeah, he Junior his moment. He did. I, that, to me, he's the villain. I'd say, oh, Emil for, Heskey. For an admittedly good save. Is Emil there a, Heskey used to score against us as yeah. well. Is there a way we can um, accuse Joel Bagan of uh, picking our team? <laughs> did he have any input into training during the week, do you think? Did he... So we can sort of cover everything off. Mm. He did say he did shout changing keeper before he did that. Yeah. So, so he technically should have got away. Like with goalie it, but, when needed. But, yeah, but VAR didn't. It was wasn't didn't there, it. was it? Yeah. So it didn't. It wasn't there to pick up on him in uh, shouting that. Right, that explains it. Changing keeps. I, I'm saying him. Be, beginning. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying too. I'm At school, too. somebody tried to get away with a, a handball in a game by saying we weren't playing for handballs. <laughs> so um, I made it. Uh, it turned into a basketball game immediately. <laughs> so, All right, I'll just do this then. Um, yeah, give it him. Right, um, on to the uh, Katana Brady Hero of the Week award. Um, quick mention for the Cardiff scores as well. Wilf Nonto ended up as man of the match with the 7.09. That's from the starting 11, but Rodrigo outscored him coming off the bench with yes, 7.19. Yeah. So stole that crown. Max and Sonny uh, were the only other players who got over six. And uh, Big sexy captain pirate. Scored even lower than Jesse Marsh, which is... Pretty going, pretty good going. Marsh got three point four two. Ref even outscored Marsh. 5.04. Yeah, I don't ref, think Jesse ever likes that. Ref wasn't awful, was he? He was. It wasn't great, but he wasn't awful. No, it wasn't terrible. I don't think. Um, no, especially without um, VAR to help him uh, getting the um, handball right was good. And got um, Nonto's dive right. Got yes, he did. <laughs> and even the Lino getting the uh, the winning goal right, mm -hmm. despite Sonny Perkins. 
basically shouting over to him like, pretty sure I was offside there, actually. <laughs> We've allowed um, Nonto into the Player of the Year rankings now, haven't we? Because he's recorded enough games, I think. And he's going to win. Well, yeah, yeah what, what were the rules? Because this is your thing, Moscow. How many um, how many games were you making him play before he was allowed to be winning it? Like, I would have put him there after 10 minutes. Like, oh, okay. He's clearly our best player, so well, like, give him the award now. Well, he's scoring 7.42. We've got Melier, Adams and Aronson, the three coming in behind him. It'll be, be between him... Melier and Adams, I think. I don't expect Aronson to be staying up there. He's gone um, off the boil at the he? moment, but uh, Melier, um, assuming he plays again this season, will be um, running Nyonto close. Maybe put Wil- Wilf in goal. Maybe so. Um, yeah, the Hero of the Week award then. So we've got a few Leeds candidates here. Uh, Nonto is, is in the list for these, so is Verba. Uh, Perkins, Rodrigo, Greenwood, Click, um, and a few others as well, including uh, Stevenage. Uh, yes, just for sort of distracting a bit can't can't give anything nice to Steve Evans that's true and also he just try and he just think the award was food wouldn't he <laughs> right you were gonna you you've said that as a means to not libel him then didn't you I think <laughs> <laughs> you're getting close to it um or you thought about it anyway yeah let's go through the, the candidates then um Verba for his um new multi-positional discipline and he did some. He did some good encouragement, didn't he? Wedge does praise him for that. He did seem to come on and start going right. Can we fucking sort this out? Which was uh, which was welcome. He celebrated Perkins' goal more than Perkins as well. It was quite interesting. He sort of grabbed him and screamed in his face. It was a bit moody his celebration, wasn't it? He loses. Yeah. He loses points. Does Perkins? He did like get. He did get several nominations. Not, don't like a moody celebration. You need to at least get into your, your Jimmy Hasselbank second season, I think, before you start doing that. It's he's got quite a moody face. Mm, that's the, true. The the lowering brows kind of bring out the I'm not sure what a smile looks like on Sonny Perkins' face I hope we never see one um, as uh, Sarah said right time right place just going back to Verba Sean I think summed it up with took control of the game when Leeds needed someone to take charge Nonto just keeps doing Nonto things as well but I think maybe mm. we, we have to maybe knock him down a mark or two for his dive yeah that's true I mean, he did get it's, it's weird really because I think he did dive for that but he did also get booted loads in this game so mm. he should have had a penalty for that Maybe uh, and be allowed some uh, some a bit of a break for it, but he's. Uh, I mean, Dicky Wood does comment comment on his engine, and I did think that towards the end of the West Ham game, he just didn't look any any more tired than the first five minutes. He's just like, relentless, isn't he? Just absolutely non-stop. He maybe need the the diving needs to not happen, and there's maybe because I uh, was listening to you talking <laughs> about him, and it's about how he takes he's taking so much responsibility and is like playing like a. Um, an adult in this team and he is but he's doing it in quite a childish way so like the when he uh piled into Grealish after Click had done it like it's great that he to see a player um attacking Jack Grealish attacking Jack Grealish <laughs> mm-hmm. and kind of wanting to stand up but also it was I think even Click was turning around was like it's all sorted Wolf. you don't this isn't the time to do it and then I think there's some Little elements of that where he's getting involved in things in a way where he's not quite worked out how to get involved. Youthful exuberance. He's just like, he's just a puppy who hasn't learned his boundaries yet. He's joining yeah. the big boys sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So he's, but it's nice. It's great because instead of like Brendan Aronson just slinking off like to find his teddy bear, you've got Wilf. He's like, no, I'm going to go and sort of, I'm going to take this on and sort this out. But he maybe needs to just. My kind thighs of are the equal to any man. Think about how he's going to sort it out and the diving thing is kind of an indicator of like he's not fully pulled those things together just be better at yet. it better yeah. at diving and get more penalties well you can't do it in a VAR world anymore can I mean, you? Rodrigo's got some nominations he's the sort of most heavily nominated I would say by number here uh, people just liking his uh, his transformative performance obviously he's going to become top scorer in the Premier League at this rate um, and he's been touted for a Spain recall up isn't he well Matt, Matt from Holbeck pointed out he's the leading Spanish goal scorer across Europe this season so that's good. And good on yeah. him. Maybe maybe he's found his niche. Just not, don't move around very much and keep scoring. That goal against West Ham was really, really good. Yeah, very mm. good, wasn't it? Um, and he's been playing, he was playing pretty well in that game. Actually, anyway. we've, got, we've got to factor in West Ham here, haven't we, as well as that? Mm. I was just thinking of the most recent example. Mm. So probably it's him, isn't it? I think. You prefer him to click? You think Rodrigo's recent contributions I mean, uh, what click, outweigh click, everything that click, click has de- ever done? Demanded to leave and stormed off. And, and made me sad. And Yeah, he made us feel bad, didn't he? He did make me feel. It's really about somebody who's made us feel good. Is it? Is it Rodrigo? Or do we give it to Clicky as a thank you, as a final thank you? Yeah, probably Click. <laughs> Reluctance. Well, he didn't do anything this week, did he? But other than made me sad. 
But yeah. He flew to Washington. What did he do when he got there? He put on a Leeds game on his iPad. He did. And he had some fish and chips as well. Yeah, with uh, from Gordon Ramsay's um, shop, which made me think this is such a good move for him. <laughs> uh, after Because playing all those consecutive games for Marcelo Bielsa also meant um, being fit enough to play all those consecutive games for Marcelo Bielsa. Um, whereas MLS, just fish and chips all the way now, mm. isn't it? You know, he'll, he'll have to keep himself ticking over in the old... Fitness states. Like the Vegas years. Yeah. But it was um it was Click who was um after Bielsa had gone, suddenly you saw the players a lot more playing a lot more golf and he was um I think it was uh, was it a bottle of Peroni and a Greg sausage roll <laughs> <laughs> he took to the golf course. And um, you know, the kind of calories that he could a footballer can just burn off in a moment, but he'd probably not been able to indulge in for a while. Um li- I think life in DC is just going to work out for him. I look forward to seeing the, the Matt Click, the Sean Gregan years as he, <laughs> as he waddles his way through the league. And, and truthfully, his manager's now Wayne Rooney, so it's not like he can really have a go at him. <laughs> yep. And he'll probably, and still probably the, recommended it. He'll probably still be the best player out there. Right. Um, who's it going to be then? Is it Click? Is it Rodrigo? From from a purely footballing sense, it's Rodrigo, but from a sentimental sense, it's Click. Click then. Click. Yeah, fuck it. What, what do we have but sentiment, eh? Yeah, exactly. sentiment beats football every single time. Absolutely, right. So congratulations to Matt Click and thank you for your service. So um, good luck in Washington. We're yeah. going to talk some more about him. We are, yeah. We're going to do um, an extra ball for members, aren't we? A little bit of an extended natter about um, his shithousery and so on and so forth. Yeah, so, not the Matt Click interview, which is going to happen maybe well, he if said, he ever comes back to he England. He said when he comes back, yeah, when he comes back to the UK, he will come in and do it. I think the feeling was as he left that it was probably just – Raw emotion, a lot going on. He had to get over there quite quickly, so he'll do it when he comes back over here. Um, He's do it before they make him president of the United States the whole, of America. The whole thing. Because he's gone to Washington, D.C., isn't it? So that's where the White House is, so it's yeah. probably, like, could happen. Okay. I wish him the best in that um, project. <laughs> Thanks, Moscow. Uh, right, we will return. Uh, with well, the we could do it show. after his president, because he might have some, he'd probably have some things to say about that, wouldn't he? Yes. About worldwide world peace and... The, I can, you will get people saying stuff. you know he's not eligible don't you why well, isn't he eligible because he's, he's not American not American like the same reason Arnie couldn't I think yeah change the rules yeah okay you would wouldn't you if it meant Click was president so potentially yes potentially. work on that please let us know in the comments guys uh, right we will return with the weekly show next week we've got yeah the Clicky special for uh, for the extra ball more Phil Hay later this week and, uh, and football on Friday we'll speak to you then The Square Ball Podcast. 